Yolanda. Livestock farmers are upset that a landmark market shut down in Sumter County. Those farmers worry about increased costs that will come with traveling to another market. WAOB News 10's Raisa Buckles is here with their reaction. Ben, one farmer says that not only did the community lose an iconic market, but a place to fellowship with other farmers. See some of the mothers of the, like I said, I sell about a 500 pound calf. Farmer Roland Satterfield has been in the livestock business since 1963. Well, I was very disappointed uh, that uh, it closed because it's been in business for probably 70 years. He's talking about Sumter Livestock, which opened in 1938, a place once filled with cattle. Now those iconic barn doors are locked behind gates. After struggling to break even, it's now closed for good. We've had a sale every Thursday for most of those years. Nestled in a community that appears to be a farmer's alley for agricultural businesses. Herd bull right here, it's a black Angus. It's the most expensive. But now Satterfield and other livestock farmers will have to haul their cattle to another market. The closest one is one hour away in Hawkinsville. I'm going to have to keep a closer eye on my tires, which cost about $150 a piece because they won't make a... The many trips up and down the roads will cause wear and tear on Satterfield's truck. To Satterfield, this place was much more than a market. A lot of farmers that maybe didn't even have livestock or wasn't even planning on buying and selling would meet over there uh, every Thursday and uh, fellowship. But that meeting place is now gone for good. You don't really miss anything until you don't have it anymore. The Livestock Authority requested a cash injection from the Sumter County Commission, which appoints board members to the authority. County officials say they asked for the business plan, but they never received one. So that, not, so that did not authorize any funding.